hasn't got much honey in it yet. London beekeeper John Davy is taking part in a unique experiment to gather information from bees all over the world. We have two cables, two wires. One is connected to a uh, probe which is reading the humidity inside the hive. One is to read the temperature inside the hive. These things are all critical throughout the season. Other probes monitor the sounds of the hive and send all that information into a giant cloud computing system designed by the technology company Oracle. The company is working with the British nonprofit World Bee Project run by Sabiha Malik to make sure these insects continue to pollinate the food we eat. And this is the link we uh, very often, most of us forget to make. So bees are not, don't exist merely to make honey. Bees pollinate. And without pollination, uh, we cannot produce food. It's as simple as that. All of the information gathered by the sensors is analyzed by artificial intelligence in order to learn how to identify healthy and unhealthy hives. John Abel is with Oracle. We can load in mapping data, road data, pollution data, the industrial park where our hives are. We can see the relationship to a, a railway, to a river. All of this gives an indication of the hives ability to be sufficient and healthy in the context of an area. But data from one hive won't provide enough information for analysis, so Oracle wants to create a giant network of plugged-in hives. That way the system can compare them and learn even more about maintaining healthy colonies. Because we're using an open connection, anybody to connect and pass us data. And as more and more devices come connected, we get more streams of data. We need billions of rows to make the model self-sufficient. By self-sufficient, Abel envisions a system that gives beekeepers a warning when things aren't right in their hives and provides data for researchers to determine where bee colonies are most likely to thrive. And thriving beehives means more food. They could take the data that we've got and understand how they can build a biodiversity ecosystem that allows better pollination to mean that they create more food for their own country or their own neighborhood or even for the world. The bee monitors are relatively cheap, Abel says, inviting beekeepers who want to hook their hives up to the system to just get in touch. Kevin Enix, VOA News.